Ultimate Best Lane as it stands right now. Taylor Roberts during the first hour. He's our oh overall God. leader, and Charlie's going to take a run in the top spot. Welcome back, my friend. This is a big black pack row bass. What do we have? Here we go. Boom! 916 locking down Charlie the Hollick is now the overall Big Bass leader. That's how Big Bass is done. The Bassmaster Classic is coming here in March. Look at this. Ooh, that's a toad. 818, new leader for the final hour. William Strong. Putting that like a boss right there. First trip to the stage. Just leaving the Big Bass Tour events. And 916 is leading Big Bass right now. Pretty good toad right there. These Big Bass events are totally different than a regular five fish tournament. Uh, I fished a few of these now, and if you guys watched my last few videos, you saw me fishing in the Big Bass Splash over there on Rayburn, and you just gotta play your cards right. It's not just catching the fish, but you also have to weigh them in at certain times, and, and really, there's a strategic uh, deal you gotta go by to cash in as much as possible, so I think it's pretty fun to fish those events. Speaking of big bass, I liked reading all y'all's comments on how you've lost your your best fish, potential best fish. I'm not sure if I really shared mine. I don't think I did. The biggest bass I think I've ever lost, it was on Lake Fork. It was on a chatterbait. Chatterbait throwing a, uh, it was a half ounce chatterbait with a, um, I think it was a four and a half inch Lake Fork Trophy Lures live magic chad it was just that together no skirt just that together it was like uh early march and i was fishing a grass line a hydrilla line and i felt one thump it set the hook and had it come into the boat I jumped when i saw it jump uh, i knew it was a giant went back back in the water and it started swimming straight at me i was trying to catch up to it i finally caught up to it when i did it was already under the boat and then it jumped on the other side of the boat, made another run, and then it broke my line. And I, I think it was probably 12, you know, possibly 12 and a half. Um, currently, my biggest bass is 11 and a half. And so I think that would have been my biggest ever. I've seen fish on, you know, springtime sight fishing beds that 12, 13, uh, pounds that I, I wish I, I could get them to bite never been able to get them to bite tried six hours to catch a 12 pounder one time that was sitting on a bed never could get it to bite so my goal guys my biggest fishing goal at the top of the list right now is to catch a share lunker bass if you don't know what that is if you're not from Texas any bass over 13 pounds caught in the state of Texas in between the months of I believe October through uh, April I think is what it is counts as a share lunker bass you call Texas Parks and Wildlife they will come and pick up your fish they use the genetics of that fish to then breed with other previous offspring from other big share lunker fish they have a dedicated division just to trying to build up genetics to formate huge bass and then restock those fry into our Texas lakes, like Lake Fork, Toledo Bend, Rayburn, and a lot of our lakes that can support really big fish. It's an awesome program, but on top of that awesomeness, they also give you a free replica mount. So you get a free mounted bass, of a replica mount. So that is my goal, not just for the replica, but just to say I caught a share lunker bass. That's pretty awesome. Now it's time to head home, watch the rest of the Aggie football game, and go see Stephanie and Winston. Fox. I don't think he's camera ready. 
All right, guys. This is, <laughs> I'm gonna have a. <laughs> these are these are avocado. Where do you get these? <laughs> Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. I don't even know what that is, but that's an avocado <laughs> sock. <laughs> you don't know what size socks you wear? It was one size fits all. Stephanie has her own blog, The Healthy Chew. It's Ava Good Day is the tagline with avocados. Do you like how I did that? That's pretty good, right? I mean, you can hire me as your. Ava Good Life. Ava Good Life. Sorry, I'll get it down. Apparently, she doesn't know what size socks she wears because they're too big. <laughs> All right, what are we having tonight? What's the delicious dish? Well, you caught some redfish, so I'm making some type of tomato based dish with that. We're gonna cook it, we're gonna bake it. I catch. You cook? Yep. Teamwork. It sounds. It sounds like uh, that's like a primal thing right there, hunter gatherer. This is the redfish right here. I uh, caught this in uh, Rockport, Texas. I've actually got a video coming up where I go down there and I'm catching the old saltwater species. It was actually really good, awesome, amazing uh, drone footage. Anyways. You guys just need to tune in and watch. Really cool fishery. Uh, didn't know existed down there, so pretty awesome. Caught some flounder, caught some redfish, caught some trout, and we're about to cook some of those redfish from down there, so it's gonna be tasty. Aggies just beat the Vols. Sorry about it, Tennessee fans. That was a crazy game, though. If you guys didn't watch that game, you missed out. We got the delicious redfish creation here. Thank you to the Healthy Chew. You're welcome. Thank you guys for tuning in and last week's videos. Had a lot of tournament action. Haven't seen that in a while. And you guys had great questions, great comments, uh, favorite colors for worms. It's great information, so thank you guys for sharing. I just had, uh, I've had a flood of Facebook messages recently, so bear with me trying to get to everything. Do want to give a shout out Two, uh, we got some South African LFG fans right here. It says my husband Tinus. I want to say his name is Tinus. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm going to my verbal counselor here. Uh, T I N U S. Anyway. Then that would be Tinus. Tinus. It looks like South Africa's got some pig bass because the pictures you sent in are hogs. Um, so that's awesome. Maybe I'll get to South Africa someday and, and catch some toads down there. You know, this just gave me a good idea. You know, in old Bassmaster magazines. So I've been reading Bassmaster magazine for many years before the days of the internet and the old smartphone where you got on and watched uh, all the YouTube fishing videos. We had to actually look our info up in Bassmaster magazine. And one of the cool things that I'd always look to, actually I'd, I'd, I'd go to this first, would be in the back of the magazine. They'd have uh, everyone that caught a bass over 10 pounds, uh, or largemouth over 10 and smallmouth over six pounds. You could send in your, your pictures and give a little description. And you know they gave you a little shout out on this back page. So I wanna thank Tinas here for sending in his photos. That just gave me a really great idea. I think what I'll start doing on uh, at least the vlog videos, maybe my other videos, if you guys want to send in your pictures of big bass, let's say uh, any largemouth over five pounds. You know what, let's not even put a weight limit on it. Listen, if you catch a big fish, you feel like it's big, you're proud of it, um, you caught it on a cool bait or whatever, you can send in your photos with a little description um, to the LFG Facebook page or Instagram. Um, we can go with those two for now. So if you guys have big uh, fish pictures that you want to send in, recent stuff, um, there's all sorts of cool stuff we can do for this down the road, but I'll throw like a little um, page at the end of my videos and with a little description with you guys' uh, catches and everything. That way you guys, you know, it's kind of like a shout out um, and you know, you could share your little short information on how you caught the fish. And I think that's, that's a cool way to incorporate my little, uh, you know, uh, excitement about the, the thing in the Bassmaster magazine when I was a kid. And, and anyways, 
Uh, I, th I think it's a great idea. So let me know what you think, but if you want to go ahead and just send in pictures on the Facebook page or Insta, go ahead and do that. We'll start having some fun with it. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up right here. We will get to more questions and, and more shout out. We're gonna figure out this whole shout out thing because uh, I hate to leave people in the dust here on shout outs, but um, I think the way to do this here is with those big fish, um, sending in those pictures, that's how you get your shout outs. So we'll do that, I think that's fun. A little throwback to old Bassmaster Magazine there. And guys, I know there's a lot of you that are new to the channel, so thank you for tuning in. Um, there's thousands of you coming in every week. And so I'm, I'm trying to remind myself of that and, and uh, just try to keep you guys updated. And I, I think I probably will in the near future give you new subscribers some, some history on, on me and probably some history that a lot of you that have watched me for a long time would be curious about too. Um, just kind of catch you up to speed where I am in the fishing you know, my fishing journey right now. And um, just thank you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and, and do that. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up, going to fish with uh, some cool collaborators here in the very near future. So look forward uh, to those videos. And I'm very excited about going down to uh, film the mullet run down in Florida um, after this hurricane. It's gonna be very interesting. I think the fishing could be amazing. Anyways, guys, I'm energized. I'm all about the fish, fishes, and fishing. I hope you are too. And um, make sure you go watch the other fishing videos at the end of this video. Got annotation links or the description below where you can check that stuff out. And thank you guys for tuning in. We'll catch y'all later. You got him. Yep. Uh-oh, he's going towards the buoy. Thank you. Well, we got him on a ferry one, so I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah he's just a, just oh, a four pounder. That's a four pounder. <clears throat> Thank you.